feeling emotional just by that introduction, so thank you. I am at a loss for words. I am truly honored um, to be given this uh, recognition today. I will be entirely honest, the day that Jerry called me and informed me, just an hour before, I had been having a really rough week and I'd been praying, something just give me a sign that I'm on the right path, bring something good into my life. And when Jerry called, I got emotional on the phone, and then when I hung up, I just sobbed. So um, this means so much to me. I have so much pride as a Salve student, and I'm sure you gleaned a little bit of that from my story. At the age of 19, I dropped out of a previous college because of a severely abusive dating relationship that I was in. And that relationship turned my entire life upside down. Not only was I forced to drop out of college, but I was penniless, homeless, and I lost my entire support system. Thankfully, I was able to break free and escape that situation, but it was a very long journey of rebuilding all of the pieces. And one of those final pieces was getting back to school. And so I started that process of looking at schools. I was a different person then, I had grown, I wanted to find the right community for me. And Salve right away fit a very important value, which was studying in a mansion on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, in reality, Salve was one of the only schools that actually accepted me. When I had a, when I dropped out, I had a failing GPA, and so many schools looked at my academics and did not accept me, which was fine because Salve that was my first choice. But <laughs> Salve looked at my essay and they looked at my resume, which really was me just putting a statement out there of my determination to thrive no matter what I had gone through, that my situations, my obstacles, to me became the fuel that made me want to better myself and be of service to others. And in those years that I was rebuilding, my whole resume was rooted in service. I found myself through volunteering, getting involved in community organizations, telling my story, using my voice, being an advocate. So um, Salve played such a huge part of my story and my journey, and I'm just so proud to be a graduate of the school. And I think for me, I spent so much of my life feeling unworthy, which is why I was in a lot of the situations that I did. And even today, I have to remind myself that I'm worthy of good things. And so I feel like I'm constantly just trying to make everyone who's been part of my story really proud of who I am. So the fact that Salve is proud of me um, just warms my heart in ways that I could never fully express. And as you heard in my bio, I now continue to go out there. I've used my degree to work in the fields, but also now to run my own business, doing prevention work, advocacy work. Um, and I think for me, what, what personally makes me feel like I embody this award is that every day I'm still praying to be shown my path. I know I've done a lot already, but I'm constantly asking, how can I be of service? How can I best use my life to serve and impact others? Um, so I fully align with what Salvador's mission is, and I'm honored to be given this specific award. My father could not be here. A public thank you to him for helping me all those years ago. A big thank you to my late mother for gifting me with a nurturing heart and showing me that life is short and to make the most of every moment. And a thank you to my friend Mark, who is here with me today, who said, Ashley, you are not going alone, which is what I tend to do. I tend to go to things alone and say, oh, just, it's no big deal. So thank you, Mark, for being here. And thank you, Salve. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you to the entire administration um, for giving me this award. Thank you so much. Thank you.